Good day, Silver Surfers! I'm on Silent, and we're on the air with more Pokemon Ruby version. It's episode number 27 of Pokemon Ruby. Thanks for tuning in last time out, last time out. We went over to uh, Sutopolis. Under the sea, under the sea. Still didn't listen to that song between episodes, but we went under the sea to Sutopolis, but the gym was closed. The gym was closed, so we're just following the road wherever it goes. And that took us here to Pacific Log Town, where, there, where there's a uh, whole lot of not much happening here. Uh, so, yeah. It's uh, disappointing, but it is what it is. It's just some... It's just some... Houses floating out in the middle of the sea. On the sea, not under the sea. So, Bailmer's just gonna take a surfing. And we're going west. We're going left, which is unusual and concerning. Whoa! Oh, shit! What's that? You just got kind of carried off by the current. I try not to swim where the currents are too strong. Indeed. Can't go can't go to the east because of the current? It's female swimmer Dana. She sent her to Meryl first. And that's fine, I'm countering with a Breloom. Now Sutopolis. I forget. I forget why I think... Oh, that wasn't fair. Yeah, you're right. That wasn't effective. Uh, Sutopolis said, I forget why I think this. I know, it was just last episode. It's not even been a week. How have I forgotten this? But was it something on the sign or something that made me uh, consider the fact that Love Disc... This was the kidney, right? That made me think that Sutopolis is a uh, is a water... It's a kidney with a beak. I don't get it. Uh, somebody's probably cut... If somebody probably a lot of comments from last week's videos is, is corrected beyond what this is supposed to be, besides a kidney. But anyway, uh, the almost that won't be very effective, kiddo. More effective than in than Meryl, but Meryl is a very high attacking Pokemon, so the um yeah the Sutopolis gym appears to be a water type gym. So we're working on Breloom and Meryl. Or not uh, Meryl. Uh, Breloom and uh, Manectric. I had Meryl on the mind from the last battle. S oh, Sky Uppercut. I was going to say, what kind of Pokemon is Sky Uppercut? <laughs> oh my god, I nearly choked to death <laughs> laughing at that. Uh, yeah, let's take Gonder. Now what's Sky Uppercut? Uppercut thrown as if leaping into the sky. I don't want to lose Mega Drain. I don't want to lose Stun Spore. So, and I, I like Mock Punch. So I'm thinking Headbutt. Now, it does, it does lose some utility here because we don't have that normal type move anymore, but at a certain point, you want to be specialist a bit more. Yeah, you do. I think, anyway. And poof. Might have been the first one that first move that we had deleted for Breloom there was uh, something to put uh, headbutt in. Forgot headbutt and learned Sky Uppercut. Now, I would switch out here for Manectric, but I want to try a Sky Uppercut, so... No, I'm not going to change Pokemon. Because I want to see what this thing does. Cool. Ah, it wasn't enough to finish it off, but... I could have gotten it to subs for Mock Punch, but... And the Azumarill went down. And down goes Swimmer Dana. Well, not down, but you, you get what I'm trying to say. If I get swept away, I'll lose all my... All my sense of place. Ah, interesting. Oh. And we're going to get ourselves a random battle for the first time today. Just a wingle. Nothing exciting. So I remember on the Poké Nav it mentioned something about currents. Now, here's the thing. I'm trying to be careful with where I go. Because there's only certain places it'll let you in. Not here. Oh, 
Here we go, another battle. Because I'm kind of looking around. Dive in here. Whoa. Sending us this way. Oh, and onto a shallow piece of land. And we found a rare candy. Unfortunately, we can't. Unfortunately, we're kind of stuck going this way. So, okay, whatever currents takes you. It's going to push you in the general direction of... Certain people and certain battles. And certain items. And you don't really have much change of direction. Okay, I missed that because I started up too high. Yeah, once you get going, you can't really correct. You can't course correct. Oh, well, we need bags full, so we can't do that. Hmm. Hmm. We got somebody that wouldn't mind carrying something that could cause some flinching. Breloom? Pfft, whatever, right? I want to see what a star piece is. We haven't sold the nugget yet, so. Oh, a red gem shard would sell for a very high price. Kind of like the nugget. In case we get caught short on cash. So some Wilmer surfage happening. Hi. Witness me, damn it! Did the currents carry you here too? This must have been faded. Let's battle. Oh no! It's male swimmer Franklin. And he sent out a oh tenta cruel. Actually, isn't good. Why? Because I just gave up my one normal move that would have worked against this thing. Oh. He's a fast bastard. Ah, shit. Alright. Let's send out Manectric. Manectric's got to uh, bail us out here. He's gonna eat a... Uh, oh, Constrict. Oh, that's a too bad of a start. Let's come back with a Spark. Of course, Manectric is the spark that lights the flame that will burn down the whole of this ocean. So, oh, rap, 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 rapidy tap. I assume that means we can't. Oh, it's a, it's a dot type thing. Um, no, I was gonna say I assume that means we can't yank it back out of battle. So, if it's wrapped or constricted or all of the above, it's about to use a Celio. A Celio? No, I'm good. Let's have Manectric have this. What's the dealio Celio? Yeah, you knew I was going to use something, some line like that. Also, down goes Celio. So, 931. Not too bad. We're marching onwards to level 37. I assume I got to get Manectric and Breloom up into the 40s for Sutopolis. So we gotta be. Uh, so we're gonna be spending some time here taking advantage. And it's just my luck that a tough trainer would drift here. I must be cursed. Well, you can always go back this way. Oh. Oh, I cut in front of that guy. Even those Pokemon that can swim are carried by the rapid currents. I assume there's no way you just kind of gotta learn the currents and try and map it out in your head and kind of work your way around like that. Anyway, Jack is sending out a star you. So we'll mega drain down the star you. That way we can uh, recover some health. A reasonable chunk thereof, anyway. Oh, it's minimized. <laughs> no. I hate that. Use the mock punch. Missed. Back with a bubble beam. Now, this will do some damage, but at the same time, it is against. Oh, missed. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, we, we didn't go into the animation. Oh. This isn't all y'all. It's a camouflage. There we go. I'll finish the star you. And up next is a Gyarados. 
Yeah. King's Rock must not do a lot of flinching, because must have a low percentage for flinching chances, because I don't know how many attacks we've hit. Uh, the Intimidate's hit. And I don't think Spark is a normal attack. I'd have to double check that. Oh, no, it's not. So just ate through that, and because it's evolved, the higher up on the evolutionary chart, the uh, more XP we'll get. So, 1,500. Oh, just shy of that uh, level 37. I, I could tell I'm thinking gym because I'm, I'm worried about that level. Because I figure if at the last gym the leaders were had Pokemon at what 42, then I want to be it. I'm I'm thinking we're in the 45 to 50 range for the leaders at the next at Sutopolis gym or leader or singular. So I think with a level advantage. Uh, or I guess with the, sorry with the with a strategic uh, type advantage I still gotta at least be in the 40s so I think Pokemon enjoy fast running currents around these parts well Mer, what do you think oh um can I squeeze in here yeah but there's nothing here yeah let's go Bailey Free Whaley. Hi. My Love Disc are looking for a fun match. Will you join us? I assume Love Disc is uh, both a singular and plural? Three of them, so I guess you've got three of them. Let's send out Breloom and we'll get the Mega Drain on. That way we can heal up. Add its energy drain. Now it will do something. Take down. That's unexpected. Takedown being a normal type move. I think it's a normal type move. I mean, I, I mean, um, the Swampert had it, so I mean, we should know it. Oh, just shy to level up. No, I gotta get that level. I wanna get that level, so we'll keep, uh, we'll keep Reloom out here. We need to work on our speed there. Now, if we can get a crit here to heal up entirely, that would be nice. But, now, just a super effective. But it's full heal. And it will sneak in first with the Mach Punch. Going at the speed of sound. Isn't that also the name of Coldplay song? And then about to use another... Yeah, okay, so it's both singular and plural. And there we go. And now you know. Shit. I wanted to switch. Damn it. I'm too busy uh, mugging for the non-existent camera. To pay attention to what the hell I'm doing, right? So what the hell am I doing? This. That. Ah, oh, goddamn idiot. Nah, oopsie is right. I shouldn't have. Uh, I, that was that's on me. That should have been a level up there. So let's change it up. That way I just don't forget. See, this is how scared I am of the uh, next gym. Is Manectric and Breloom have both leveled up past Soul Rock and Hariyama and uh, and Whaley here. So. That's on me, just not... Yeah. Uh, there's a collector who's after the scales of Love Disc. Well, that sounds concerning. Alright, let's do this. Oh. Alright, let's... Yeah, surf on to the next... To go two squares, and then... Yeah, unfortunately, it's gonna... Not much here. I wanted to fight that next guy on the next on the island over there, but I was gonna say if we reached the end. There we go. We got that level up from the. Uh... Oh, we found Slate Port. Aha! We found that level up from the business end of um, that random battle. So Slate Port Harbor. 
Oh, you're Captain Stern. Right? So what we might do... Pop in here for just a quick second so that way I can heal up and chat with Captain Stern. There, no time at all, right? Alright. Yeah, I think the chat with Steven and seeing all the cr and seeing Team Magma run away makes me think this is probably where we're going next, but uh Oh yes, Mr. Bryony came to our shipyard. It won't be long now before we finish making the ferry. I beg your pardon, you're looking for a ship? I'm sorry, the ferry service is available at present. Journey to the bottom of the sea, I wonder what it would be like. I'd love to go deep underwater like that someday. I wanted to go with Captain Stern on the ocean floor exploration, but the sub's too small for me. If I squeezed in, there wouldn't be room for the captain. So, I don't know. Um, maybe I'm just barking up the wrong tree here. It seemed like a good idea. Go and take the route less traveled. I notice how Mr. Briney's now on board, now that I don't require his services to travel elsewhere. Ah, oh, Steve, it's been too long. Aye, since I met you, this old sea dog's been feeling frisky. Ah, uh, So I've decided to help Doc make a ferry. Uh, I, after all, a ferry would be able to carry a lot of people. But you know that Doc is really something special. With his knack for technology and my experience, I'm sure that we can build one great ship. Aye. Okay, I guess you're not Doc. Seasons, the weather, where the moon sits in the sky, and these other conditions make sea change its expression. That's right, the sea is like a living thing. If you say so. Hi, Miss Briney's joined us to lend us his help. Thanks to the veteran sailor, the ferry's steadily coming together. Well, that's nice. I'm just trying to figure out where the hell do I go next? Hmm. Now yeah, I'm slightly stumped. It has something to do with Team Magma stealing the. It has something to do with Team Magma stealing the. Uh, what's it called? Uh, uh, the su the submarine. And then they escaped from their HQ with the submarine. So it's just a matter of figuring out... Oh, you're the guy with the secret power, right? Welcome! How may I serve you? Oh, so... And we can build our own piano. Low C should be middle C, really, but anyway... Yes, I used to play piano and accordion too, actually. There, just slide that little fun fact in there. Unsilence can. Unsilent used to play the piano and the accordion. There's one that nobody expects. Alright, what we're gonna do. We gotta get Wingull out, because I think we gotta go back to Sutopolis. Sorry, Rayleigh, we gotta put you down here for a moment. Oh yeah, Clambake here. Picked her up uh, along the way. Her? Yeah. I wasn't paying attention. Oh, actually, before we take uh, Wingall off to the next spot. We got that... The very high-priced shit that we gotta sell. Nugget and such. How much is it worth? 5,000? Okay, I guess that's pretty good. How much did this sell for? That's it, 49. The other was worth, worth five grand. That's 49. I'm gonna hold on to that. Well, I'm gonna deposit it. But. Yeah, okay. Oh, actually, hang on. I can think of something I want. Oh, no, Ultra Balls. I 
All right, well, we can pick up some Ultra Balls probably at Sutopolis when we head back there, right? So let's hop aboard Air Wingull. And yeah, we can't go there because we haven't been there yet. Yeah, I like Sutopolis. If they stole the sub, they gotta be underwater somewhere. And if they were gonna be underwater somewhere, this is the logical place for them to be, right? I'm just I'm just hypothesizing based on what seems logical, but Do they have a shop here? Actually, wait a minute. I have a navigator for that. I have my own GPS for this shit. Blue's the Pokemart? Alright, so it's on the other side of town, alright. Which means we need to get Whaley out to, to help with that, so. Alright. Back in a minute. You know what would be a good... Good shirt idea. This from the same guy who had thought that... Anaheim Crazy Chickens would have been a great shirt idea and hasn't done anything with it. As opposed to the... I want to do a down and B shirt, yes, but I also thought... You know what's a good idea? Hartford Whalmers. But I get the feeling... That, uh, Game Freak and Nintendo and the Pokemon Company would all be very offended if I do a Whalmer shirt. And what- I don't need so many Ultra Balls, although that's a good idea. That brings us up to 20. I could use some more, uh, Hyper Potions. I'll get five more of these. So, potions are important, kids. But yeah, I just thought... It's just, it occurred to me when I was getting, uh... Whalmer out of the box, it was like, Oh yeah, Hartford Whalmers! Once again, including my great love of bad puns... ...in each of my videos. Dive! Two minutes for unsportsmanlike conduct for diving. Wait, that's, that's not this. So we are now officially underwater. So there's gotta be a secondary cave of some sort in this neighborhood. So we gotta be... And you had to have missed earlier. There's gotta be... What if it's this thing in the middle here? I accidentally, like, activate a repel or something? Not a lot of... Uh, it's only in the underwater grass, but still. This is all still Sutopolis in the middle here. So we gotta be... Working around. Okay, nothing here. Okay. Some over on the other side there, but we're working all around here. And then hug the north wall here. Nope. Almost missed my turn off. I just want to cut across here. Okay. It couldn't have been that there, so let's go cut back north here. Even the, uh, even holding B doesn't, uh, accelerate me anymore. Alright. Can I fish when I'm underwater? Just out of curiosity. Asking the real questions. Now, apparently you can't fish while you're underwater. Tis a shame. So this should be Sutopolis that we're running around right here. So let's go off to... There's a... More to the left there. Unless... One has to surface and come back down and around. Which may be the case.
and dive. Oh, we're, we're gonna get into trouble above water as opposed to under. Also, I said undive, this is undive, which is. Yeah, dive here. I just wanna see. Okay, we've been here. All right. What I want to do then? Let's see if I can find that area I was thinking of before, right here. So we want to go up, left about four squares. It's not undive at surface, not on dive, which is a. Uh, I should know this. I've watched enough Master Chef Australia. I should know it. Cordoned off there. Interesting. So wherever we are, we gotta go around. We gotta loop around. Now whether that leads to anything or not, I don't know, but... We gotta hug this. That way we can find our way around. I think. Anyway. Alright, let's kinda cut across here. Man, it's making me take the long way. Did I battle you bastards yet? My big sister is tough at Pokemon. Don't cry when you lose. Just want playing the advantage to me, so... You guys might be in trouble. It's Sis and Bro, Rita and Sam. They sent out a Chinchu and a, uh... And a Carfan. So I would like Manectric to spark up that thing. Oh, wait, that's a bad idea. And, uh, you sky uppercut this thing. Volt absorb makes spark useless. Oh, no! Yeah, that, that was coming. We're going to take a little bit of heat for that, but that's fine. We can always come back at it with a, uh... Oh, a confused rayon. Oh, no! Got Breloom. Can you quick attack that thing? And can you mega drain that thing? Now, Breloom's confused, and I'm not sure if it can't hit anyone here. Oh, it gets itself. Yeah, I wasn't sure if it could do everyone or just itself. Yeah, that wasn't gonna work, kiddo. Oh, well, maybe it worked satisfactorily. So it's confused, it's paralyzed. You're focusing the wrong thing. I know it's weak, but you're using the wrong thing against the wrong wrong Pokemon. There we go. So we beat two checks, the Confuse and the Paralyze checks. And then we'll get some health back as a result. But we got to unparalyze Breloom as a result. Uh-oh, my big sister will chew me out. Well, who, which one was hers? Sigh. If only it wasn't my little brother next to me, but a nice boyfriend. But big sister's really scary when she gets angry. That's why she's... <laughs> oh, well. Thanks, kiddo. Um, right, I gotta... Do I gotta bury for this? Oh, that's it? I do gotta paralyze heal. There we go. Yeah, use dive here. I don't know. It's just gotta, I gotta find something with dive. See, this square's a different color, so I, Oops. So I just wonder. Nope. Up, damn you. Surface, damn you. Is there any way we can cut back to the... No. Oh, that's a whole lot of nothing. Hurry up. This takes too long. 
Ah, uh, so does this. It's Lily Cove. So we gotta cut through Lily Cove and just head south? Well, okay. Now they escaped from Team Magma's base from here, right? So what I'm looking for... Yes. There's no way to launch south from here, is there? Well, crap. Or is there back around this way? Just running around like a chicken with a head cut off, but there was a way we got onto here, right? Route 121. Hmm. Damn it. I want to get into this range, but I don't know how. Alright, one more try through here. So I'm not sure where next. That's still closed. Dang it! Is there a hint here I missed? Where the hell is Steven located? Is it in here somewhere in one of these houses? This one? So it's where we found him here, but I could be wrong. No, nope, not here. Oh, we got TM31, so that's nice. And brick Break! It's a move so horrible that I can't describe it. What the hell does Brick Break do? Uh, destroys barriers like light screen and causes damage. Okay, that could actually be handy. When you come up against a competent uh, AI trainer that uses, well, shit like light screen. Was it here or was it at the last city that we found, Steven? I swear it was here. Hmm, you've come all the way to Sutopolis? You're an ordinary tourist. But I suppose it doesn't make you an ordinary tourist either. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, I think we've had a chat with you before. Oh, yeah, you were the guy that wouldn't let us in here. Who am I, Huey? This is the Cave of Origin. Spirits of Pokemon become Mount Pyre said to be revived here. Please leave. Oh, that's right. You wouldn't let us in. Wait, you won't let us in. All right. So how do I get into the Cave of Origin? They missed something at Mount Pyre. Don't quite get it. I must have missed something along the way. But I'm not sure what. Just trying to remember everything that I could have. I'm just trying to remember what I could have. Uh, could we just uh, surf around the corner here? Hi, what's your name? Oh, okay, that's nice. My name is Kiri. Oh, and Dad named me so I grow healthy and warm-hearted. That's what they wish. Okay, we had this chat before. Oh, Kelsey, uh, Kelsey Berry. And a Figgy Berry. Right, I remember that chat. Alright, so I've got a couple ideas. Hang on, let's, let's take a look at the Pokedown and walk you through my ideas. My first idea was, okay, where haven't we been? Well, let's go towards Evergrande, right? Since it, obviously nothing was happening at Sutopolis, but I was scouting around the map just to see if there was anything I missed, like a route I missed, but I took all that. The only thing I could think of that I missed was when it flickered this Shoal Cave here. So that's the only thing I could think of. Is maybe we make a little way north and detour towards Shoal Cave, and I don't know if that's going to actually 
Hi. Uh, because we haven't seen any of you yet. No. I'm tired of swimming. Are you up for a battle with me? Can you tread water while we're doing this? Not that you're going to have to tread for long, but still. But that was my thought, was... Oh, another love disc. A uh, little higher level than some of the other ones we've been seeing, though. Mind, mind you, that could be a function of their, of she only having one Pokemon, if possible. Or we could have found the right area. Higher levels, this means you're heading in the right direction, of course. So, I'm just, yeah, it's just one of those things I'm pondering. Is, uh, is, is Shoal Cave, is that, that where we go next? Which way is Tomas Deep? That way. We'll have a chat with this guy. Where am I going? Ahoy! I'm a buff, tough sailor. I braved in the world seas. Should I start singing in the navy? How's it going? Come, is it? Come and join your fellow man in the navy. I don't know the rest of the song. Sailor Ernest Borgnine is up. Now there's a reference that some people might get. Especially when you combine it within the navy. Get a little bit there. About to use a tentacle? No, because poison t that poison kicker won't be good for uh, Breloom. And down goes a manectric, or not the manectric tentacle. And what's next? It's about to use a machoke. Actually, yes, I will change. <laughs> uh, if. We Random fighting Pokemon in there, but uh, yeah, let's uh, bring out Solrock, making its first appearance of the day. Keeping a lot of folk on the bench, but... Uh, let's uh, throw the confusion at it. It's gonna be enough? Not quite. Concerning vital throw. Because, well, Vital Throws... See, I can't... Re I know it's a fighting move. I know I know. Uh, Makahita has it. That's just I can't remember what the uh, kicker is on that. Also a level up. Well, well timed, well placed. Gar, I couldn't win! No, you couldn't, Mr. Borgnine. Tide ebbs and flows inside the Shoal Cave. By the way, it's about six hours from high tide to low tide. Did you know? And this is the one time where... Uh, Time. Time matters. Oh, you're the guardians of Shoal Cave? Kim, can you tell me what we're looking out for or looking for out here? I'm guessing one is Iris and one is Kim. Junior and senior Kim and Iris. Sent a Swablu and a Numel. Uh it's actually problematic. Um You can spark the Swablu, Breloom. Uppercut, uppercut the Nanumal. I wasn't expecting a fire Pokemon in anyone's repertoire here. So, it'll be problematic against the um, grass type Pokemon Breloom. We'll try and hit it with a big shot there. Oh, just enough of a big shot there. So, now we came sort of close. Yes, you almost got to move in. Kim, are we really going into the Shoal Cave? We'll get all wet. This is high tide. Funny old man lives in the Shoal Cave, doesn't he? Let's go see him, Iris. Um, stranger danger? Oh yeah, it's gotta be. Somebody. Oh, these are the funny old man. Are you planning on going deep in there? How about bringing me back some Shoal Salt and Shoal Shells? I can make you something good if you bring me these the ingredients. So if the tide changes, then we are at high tide. Okay, so there's two ways forward. A left and a right. And we're going to go right because you always go right. Also, random Zubat. Now, in a third way. Well, it leads to nothing. Okay, so there's an... Northeast and northwest way to go. No, it's a gold bat. I was about to say, who gives a shit? But it's a gold bat. All right. Uh, now I can't remember if this thing's got a flying kicker. I think it does. Yeah, it does. I can hear that. I could hear that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Noted. 
we run into another gold bat, it's got a it's got a flying kicker. So don't do that. Also, I gave back all my escape ropes, so uh, oops. I won't be able to make a hasty escape if I need it. All right, let's go this way because you always go right if you're allowed. The encounter rates all like always. Oh no, you gotta come out this way. Ah, so we gotta start on the left, which is bad. So let's, well, let's get into a random battle. Oh no, it's a shield, it's a feel. I was gonna say it's a Celio, it's a feel. Which evolves into a Celio. What's the dealio Celio? An Aurora Beam? Neato! An Ice Ball. Oh, it's an Ice type. It's a Water and Ice. Ah, interesting. Also, I think I could probably swap out Manectric at some point, but um, that's a different matter. Let's just use the Ultra Ball, or Great Ball on it, sorry, rather. I don't need to Ultra it yet. One, two, three. What's the dealio Celio? I know it's not a Celio, but deal. It's the clap Pokemon. Goes clap, clap, clap. It's much faster rolling than walking to get around. When groups of Pokemon eat, they all clap at once to show their pleasure because of this, their meal times are noisy. Aww, it's so cute to Celio or Sphelio. What's the dealio Sphelio? Huh? That almost works. Hmm, what I might do, actually. Is just pop out and in so I can, uh... Oh, no, we don't want that one. So we can just go out and in and heal up real fast. Back at Moss Deep, which is just a stone's throw away. Oh, not there. We want these stairs. Here. And we'll go into the cave. The Shoal Cave. At apparent high tide. Oh, another feel. Ah, I just caught one of these. Alright, but we'll see what interesting stuff shows up. I imagine that if we were to be here at low tide as opposed to high tide, then what would happen is we would see different sets of Pokemon. Oh, interesting. What's the dealio here? Ladders and... Oh, we got a shoal shell. Okay, I was a little concerned. Oh, and it lets us go through. So let's go see the other one. I was a little concerned that we might need a rock smash for that. And uh, Azumarill has it back at the Pokemon Center. So it's... So it'd be a little bit of a hike to get back another shoal shell. I wonder what we get with the shell and the salt, though. Besides a random battle. Okay. So that lets us wrap up and around, which is probably the way we have to go. Ooh, no, there's... Oh, no, I can't go that way. Can't go up this way. Another shell. No, and then turn into a random battle. That was just a feel. Oh, there's a way out here. Ah! One big pearl. Uh, cash item? Cash item? Oh, uh, this way. Yeah. And, uh, oh, that's all it says for that. Alright, no, that's fine. Oh, man. High encounter rate. Okay, so... We want to go back... Just duck out and up. Literally go about two feet on, on the back of Whalmer. He's going to be ever so pissed that we're wasting his time. A rare candy. So we got to get up to that ladder somehow. Alright. I, I imagine this would be a lot easier. Oh. No, I didn't want to do that. Poor Whalmer's just getting the dumbest ass workout. Alright. So, 
go about two feet. This is very annoyingly designed. Oh, we can't even go there. Okay. Another shoal shell, but no shoal salts. I mean, it's got this little bit here. Can we just walk along it so that way I don't have to surf two feet with Whalmer? Yeah, surf. Mm, well, we get into a random battle, so that's just a slight change of pace. Okay. I don't know if there's a way. Yeah, can we go... F we didn't go very far south the last time we tried. No, there's there's literally no other... We're kind of stuck here. I think it's uh, based on tides and we can't get any farther. Well, this episode was a whole lot of nothing. Okay. Well... That was a short trip. All right, so. Ever grande next time? The problem when it doesn't really kind of give you much direction of which way you want it wants you to go, right? Like the direction is get all the badges, beat all the gym leaders, defeat the elite four move on with life. Well, that's a rather difficult when it throws like little wrenches like this in the way for you. But... I'm just trying to think what would be next. Yeah, like I said, going to Evergrande. Now the question is how the hell does one get to Evergrande City? Well, south-ish, right? Look at the Poconav. So I can do it here before, rather than waste your time in the next episode. Yeah, we gotta get south to 127 and hook east on 128. So. Something like that. Alright, next time? Shall we? On Pokemon Ruby, but until we see you for that, I'm on silent. Thanks very much for joining me. Like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you're new, share on social media, follow on social media, the social media handlees on Silent On Air. And that is for Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Tumblr. And don't forget, you can check out more Pokemon and Ruby in the playlist. It's on the screen in the description down below. More videos any time on the channel page. And until the next time, I'm on Silent. Thanks very much for joining me. Like, share, subscribe, and we will see you next time.